Imagine, if you will, a journey of thousands of miles. No GPS, no map, just instinct and the stars above. This is the reality for countless creatures on our planet, embarking on a grand voyage we often refer to as migration. From the tiniest hummingbirds to the enormous humpback whales, these voyagers traverse mind-boggling distances driven by an invisible force. Their journey is not a casual stroll, but a fight for survival, dictated by the changing seasons, the availability of food, and the call to breed. Monarch butterflies, for example, travel thousands of miles to escape the harsh winter, while wildebeests cross treacherous terrains in search of greener pastures. It's a story of resilience and endurance, of life's relentless pursuit to thrive against all odds. So, how do these creatures, big and small, find their way across continents and oceans? The answer is intriguing. Birds in the sky, fish in the sea, insects buzzing around. They all have their ways of navigating the wild. From the vast expanse of the open sky, to the deep, dark depths of the ocean, to the bustling activity of the forest floor, each creature has its own unique approach to finding its way during the epic journey of migration. Take birds, for instance. They're the masters of the sky, soaring with grace, covering thousands of miles with seemingly effortless ease. But how do they do it? How do they know where to go? The answer lies in the skies above us. Birds are able to use the sun and stars as a guide, a natural compass, if you will. They align their internal biological clocks with the movement of these celestial bodies, allowing them to maintain a precise course even when flying over vast, featureless oceans or deserts. Now let's dive into the aquatic world. Fish, much like their avian counterparts, also migrate. But their environment lacks the clear landmarks of the sky. Instead, they rely on the Earth's magnetic field to guide them. Yes, you heard it right. Fish have a kind of sixth sense, a built-in compass that helps them detect the subtle variations in the Earth's magnetic field. This allows them to navigate the vast, often murky waters of the ocean with astonishing accuracy. On a smaller scale, but no less impressive, insects use a variety of navigation methods. Some, like bees and ants, use smells and pheromones to create scent trails. Others, such as butterflies or beetles, use visual landmarks to orient themselves. They might use a prominent tree, a patch of flowers, or even a particular rock as a reference point. It's astonishing, isn't it? Each of these creatures in their own way has found a method to navigate the vast, complex world around them. They don't need maps or GPS. They use the tools provided by nature, sun, stars, magnetic fields, smells and landmarks. It's a complex yet fascinating system that these creatures have developed over millions of years. Migration isn't just a journey, it's a crucial part of the animal kingdom and our planet's ecosystem. Its impact reverberates through the environment and other species in ways we're just beginning to fully comprehend. For instance, when birds migrate, they often carry seeds in their feathers or digestive systems. As they travel vast distances, these seeds are dispersed, contributing to plant diversity and growth in different regions. Similarly, the cyclical movement of herds of caribou or wildebeest affects the food chain. Predators follow their migration, ensuring their survival, while the absence of these herds in certain seasons allows the vegetation to regenerate. And let's not forget the humble bee, whose migration for nectar plays a significant role in pollination. Without this essential process, many of our favorite fruits and flowers would cease to exist. The journey these animals undertake is not just a testament to their survival, but a vital cog in the wheel of life. But as our world changes, so too do the paths of these intrepid travelers. The effects of climate change, habitat loss and human interference are reshaping the roots and rhythms of animal migration. Polar bears in the Arctic, for instance, are forced to swim longer distances as ice melts, while songbirds adjust their flight paths due to changing temperatures. As our urban landscapes expand, the natural corridors that once served as highways for migrating creatures are disappearing. These changes are not just rerouting their journeys, they're threatening their very existence. Yet amidst these challenges, there's a glimmer of hope. Conservation efforts worldwide are striving to protect and restore these vital migratory paths. 
From wildlife corridors in the Serengeti to underpasses in Canada designed for safe animal crossing, we are beginning to recognize the value of these natural phenomena. As we delve deeper into understanding these extraordinary journeys, we also realize the importance of safeguarding these migratory paths, a task that falls upon each one of us.